Hi, I'm Casey Johnson. I'm a fourth grade math teacher, and I'd like to show you some card games you can use to teach your students some math concepts. The first one I'm going to show you is called Close to 100. I use cards like these. These are just number cards. They just have a number on them. You can use any kind of cards that have numbers on them. Um, I'm going to draw out six cards. I actually already drew them out here. I have a seven, an eight, a zero, a two, another zero, and a four. Now the way close to 100 works is I want to arrange four of these to make a, a two-digit addition problem that will get as close to 100 as I can. So for these six, maybe I would add 80 and 20. I can use the zero twice because I had two zeros. 80 and 20 is 100, so I got right on 100, so my score would be zero. And you want a lower score. Someone else might have gotten these same cards and tried 74 plus 28, and they would have ended up with 102, so their score would have been 2, so I would have had the better score. I usually have my students play five rounds of this, and they add up their scores. Whoever has the lowest score at the end wins. You can do the exact same game and call it close to 1,000, and each student would just start with eight cards instead of six and pick three digit numbers. After you've had your turn, you take out the cards that you used, put them in a discard pile, keep the two you didn't use, and draw four new ones. And from those six, you do the same thing and try to get as close to 100 as you can. It's a great addition game. The next game I'm going to show you is called Close to Zero. This is similar to the other game, only this one involves subtraction. Now here are the six cards I drew, same deck of cards. This time, I'm going to choose four cards to arrange into a subtraction problem that gets as close to zero as I can. So I might do 81 minus 79, and my score would get two. Again, just like close to 100, you want the lowest score because you're trying to get close to zero. Maybe my partner tried 98 minus 71, so they ended up with 27, and I had a better score than they did. And just like in close to 100, I would discard the ones that I used, keep those two, draw four more, and do the same thing again. And after about five rounds, you can see who has the lowest total score. So this is a good one for subtraction.